All right, we're coming up on the KMRD special here. He has the uh, mast in the tree <laughs> going on. But, um, and his G90 kit. You're missing a sticker. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Just the right amount of stickers. That no, I you need one more sticker. <laughs> Which one would that be? Did you want to buy a battery box? Because these are for sale. These are for sale? These are my Big Geek battery boxes. I just I just uh, made the next batch. Yeah? Yeah. Where, where to, do we get those at? You go to kmrd.square.site and pick up one of these bad Jacksons. And what's so special about them? Well, it's uh, got a 30 amp hour bioeno in there. There's a solar charge controller that you can connect right to that mm -hmm. yellow power pole. Mm -hmm. You open this up here and flip that switch and now your solar charge controller is on. Nice. So you, you basically can run indefinitely with this. And you've got three power poles that are uh, power outs or power ins you can charge your you can charge the battery if you hook up a uh, a charger to any one of these red and black power poles just flip the switch it'll start charging you got your battery meter here that's going to show you everything you need to know about the battery the the voltage the current draw how much current you've used over time and then over here we've got a USB you've got a quick charge 3.0 and then you've got USB C uh, PDs so you can keep your uh, laptops and stuff and your phone's charged very nice and then you've very got nice. A nice light. Two uh, LEDs that are all switched Ooh, on, on all side. three of the sides there. So if your power goes out like it does for me quite often in Huntsville, Texas, <laughs> this will uh, basically light up your room. Nice, so nice. If the power goes out, you can hook an inverter up to this, put some, uh, turn some lights on. I have I have all LED lights in my house, so it draws very little power. You can you can run your TV for for several hours off of this and get the news or something uh, in case of an emergency. It's a good thing to have. And uh, what's the Tank Radio affiliate link? Uh, there is not one. So don't don't go and buy yeah, there. No, 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 no. You don't no. want an awesome no, battery no. box that I build by by hand. And you're running a G90 over here. Yeah. So this is my go box. Get rid of this. There's somebody somebody littered around here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my G90 go box that I built several years ago, and it's not just a go box, but it's also uh, this was really my first start into uh like solar battery solar generator kind of thing so there's a radio the g90 body is under here there's a six amp hour bioeno but there's also a tiny little solar charge controller in here so uh this top left power pole is where i would plug in a solar panel if i wanted to and you basically have a solar generator and a radio and usb uh, I've got a little digi rig in here so I can do digital uh, whatever you want you got the $60 laptop there you're good to go yeah you're the third person I see they have the evolve laptop go big or go home man mine doesn't work anymore <laughs> all right Mike bye bye everybody here we go um, what's sure. your name and call sign um, my name's Jared Holtz but I just barely took the test so I haven't got my call sign you passed <laughs> I did I right. last night online at one o'clock in the morning Congratulations. Uh, so I'm, I'm waiting. I haven't got my email confirmation on my call sign yet. Cool, cool. So what, what new um, additions do you have to your um, go, go what what'd you call it last my year? My doomsday trail. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Um, so I've added, I think last time I only had a, a small battery in here. Mm -hmm. You can see I added a 200 amp hour Renogy battery in there and a 3000 watt power inverter i actually plugged it into my backed it up to my front door ran a cord in and, and i ran my refrigerator for 12 hours and it barely barely drew the battery down any nice, nice. so three 100 watt solar panels they charge the they charge the battery as well as the let's walk around to this side i've got a i got some lights charging here but this this runs off of the 110. I can plug that into 110, which I also charges the battery. So if the power grid's having the freak out like it was, I can plug that in, have the solar panels charging, and it's it's uh, just a constant charge on the battery. I didn't have a fuse block in here last time, so I, I changed some stuff around and put a fuse block in so that I can have, I isolated all of my electrical stuff inside so nothing's connected to the outside of the trailer anymore so it's basically a rolling faraday 
box now. Lightning protection cable and a, a big long copper ground rod that I'll keep with me to stick in the ground and lightning proof, EMP proof, Chinese balloon flying over proof. <laughs> I see you still have the Blackstone. Blackstone uh, comes in handy, yep. Yeah. It's always a, everybody likes to go out camping and have a have a nice steak, so. So I see you got the um, Baofeng radios charging on the other side there. I did and catch I, the I, copper I, um, J-pole. I added my uh, homemade copper J-pole antenna up there, yes. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So next year we'll get you up to a general license and put an HF in here. Yeah, well, that's kind of my goal is at some point would be to have a have something in here that, you know, a repeater or something. So, yep. Well, thank you for coming on. Sure. What's going on? Is that a custom drive over mount? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, I do. So uh, what are you running over here? All right, so I have two racks. One has an FT991 and the other one has an FT891. They both have integrated batteries, mm -hmm. uh, Life Po4 uh, batteries, 20 amp hours. So they run for um, quite a few hours. Mm -hmm. um, has a, an integrated, each one has an integrated uh, solar charge controller in the back. Nice, nice. And so this is the software I wrote to control the radios. Wait, wait, wait. You wrote the software? Yes. You did? Yes. Awesome. And so, what is it? So this is written in uh, C++. Oh, um, going after my heart. Eat that, Don. So I can, um, well, I can tune the radio with my finger. See that? I can change bands. Um, I can set a frequency manually. It goes to the frequency, change the modes. I have uh, uh, meters in here, so I can look at all the meters at the mm -hmm. same time it's mm -hmm. transmitting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a, a simple log book in there if I'm going out doing POTA activations. Um, I have a, an integrated GPS which computes my six digit uh, grid score mm -hmm. and it automatically adds that to the log, uh, pulls out my power level. Mm -hmm. uh, all I have to do is enter the call sign and then the signal strength um, and then just hit auto log and it logs everything for me. And then when I get uh, done for the day, I just export to ADIF, drop that straight into the POTA.app website. Is that a Surface you're running there? This one's a Surface, yes. Nice. Surface Go. And that's reading, I assume in Windows? Yep. Are you letting other people download it and using it? Uh, yeah, I actually uh, started uh, uh, distributing it to um, people that were beta testers, and I just recently put it on a storefront to, to try to start selling it. Nice, nice. And, and what's the software's name? YCAT mm -hmm. for uh, Yesu Cat Control. Nice, nice. Awesome. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks for it. sharing. Another backpack kit here running the Evolve computer and a Yezu, nice. What battery is that? Just a cheap one I found on Amazon, Enjoy Bot. <laughs> okay, okay, and how's it lasting you? It's, it's doing great. I can I could run this setup here for hours, no problem. With this rig here, I can do VHF, UHF, all the way up to 40 meters. I just hooked both antennas to the radio at the same time. I also got all modes here, so I could do CW, FT8, wind link, whatever I want to do. The laptop runs on the 12 volts, same same power system as a radio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, the idea was to fit as many bands and modes into a backpack as possible. And it's been a lot of fun. And um, is that one of Adam, Adam's antennas too? I see the uh, it is. spark plug coil. Yes, yes. Signature Adam. <laughs> yep. Actually, I was, I love his antennas, but they're back ordered so often. Yes. So I made my own, um, actually made my own little one here. Oh. You know, homemade version. Mm -hmm, I took a little mm -hmm. PCB and just a little uh, electronics board and, and soldered it together. Very nice. And what kind of key is that? That looks familiar. That is a, a K6ARK uh 3d printable yeah key yeah i just made those so i've got a couple of them actually i have another little kit here qrp labs trans mm -hmm. uh, qcx mini kit that i put together it's 20 meters the whole kit fits in here got the antenna and everything i i, I uh, printed a little keyer for nice. that too a little paddles um adam would be impressed it's a little soda pack yes lightweight yep and um weatherproof box perfect perfect
I love the DOI stuff out here. It's perfect, perfect. Uh, what's your name and the call sign again? Tom Bowles, Kilo India 5, Yankee Golf Tango. Thank you for coming on. Hey, thank you for having me. Now, what, what did we talk about last year? There can only be one Frank here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I, have to go on the, I have to go silent on the Franks. Look, right. so this is, I like this. Um, it looks like your setup has evolved or did you set up the tent differently it's, from last it's year? A, it's evolved from last year's. Uh, basically, what, what I changed was uh, I have a little bit of a smaller shelter sheet and it's square shape, which is way more versatile for different setups. So I can do five or six different setups all the way to a, almost like a self-contained little mm -hmm. igloo, uh, depending on the conditions. But today I opened it up uh, just so people can see it easier. And uh, I brought my heat source today because it's cold. So I got a sterno yep, can yep. burn in there. Nice. And this one's reflected, uh, has reflective coating on the inside. So it's mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. big, big improvement for heat. Uh, the other thing that changed is basically it's a digital system right now. So I didn't have digital last year. I just had sideband. So now this has the same capability as last year. So here everything fits in the backpack. With the changes I made, I got it down lighter. So it's much lighter than it was last year, uh, which is very easy to carry com uh, compared to last year. It was a little different, a diff little bit di difficult. Got a lot of things a lot smaller, smaller battery, smaller um, SWR meter. I'm using a Nano VNA now instead of a big antenna mm -hmm. analyzer. 